Hey everybody, it's Crackers. Welcome back to House Flipper. So we're back here. We have a couple of rooms to do, so we're not going to waste any time. Um, this is going to be a, I think, a kids' room. I think we've decided a couple of people liked the Nemo idea, so we're going to go with that theme. And we are going to make something out of this room. So Emily had an idea of a craft room. So we have the downstairs um, garage or whatever that's a shipbuilding little office for the man of the house or well maybe the woman I don't know but anyway we have this thing that we did last time and Emily had an idea to maybe do like a craft room for the lady of the house but I was thinking well not but playing on that idea, I was say, thinking that we should maybe do, instead of like a craft room, because I thought, I, don't, I was wondering how I would pull that off, I thought, what if we did like an artist's room? So as you can see, you know, since we were talking about knocking pictures off the wall, um, I've dropped one picture. I wanted to see how it would end up falling on the floor. And I think this would be perfect. You know how artists have like paintings everywhere? I think it would be a cute little thing to do for this room. So I have, like I found a picture of a nice easel that I want to put on this wall. And I thought maybe we could put cupboards on either side. So I was busy looking at cupboards uh, last time I played. And there's not a lot of really narrow ones that are going to work because I want something on either side of the easel is what I'm thinking. So, um, sorry, I have to go back to furniture. I think what we're going to end up doing, I think actually it's in the kitchen. No, wait, wait, stop, stop. Out of control. I'm thinking I'm just going to use this. Like they're all open, which I'm not super crazy about. I kind of wanted to have kind of closed shelving at the bottom but I wanted it to remain narrow so I think it's I think we're gonna use um, I'm not sure if we're gonna use the gray but I think we're gonna use this because it's nice and narrow and I'll build up on either side and then we'll put our easel picture in the middle and then we'll put these on the other side too so give me a second to lay this out a little bit and I'll bring you guys back but it's just basically gonna well, I think it's going to go something like that. We're going to buy many, many. I think we'll go with gray because we have lots of gray in this house. So I think it'll be, we'll just, are we going to have to go three across? See, that one fit way better than that one. So I'll fill with it a little bit. Okay, so if we do three across there, and then if we come on this side and do three across okay so why does that one look crooked even anyway I'll fiddle with them I think this would be enough space for a little easel picture I think that'll work out really good so let me build up this wall and I'll bring you guys back all right guys this is the easel picture I found it's even actually nautical themed if you can believe it so um, I can't get it any closer than this, so we're going to just kind of go with, I don't know how high to make it. Does that look about right for an easel? I don't know. Maybe we could go a little bit higher. Um, let's just do 74. That sounds like a good number. Okay. Does that look about the right size? I think, I think that'll be fine. I do. Okay. And uh, one other thing I wanted to do, it's really driving me crazy that it's not filling in on both sides, but aside from moving all the cupboards over, I think that's as good as it's going to get. Um, okay, I wanted to go back to the store and I wanted to buy this shelf. Yeah. Um, should we do maybe gray? Let's do... I don't look very gray but we're gonna use this we're gonna use this to I think frame out the the picture a little bit to hide the top frame to make to try and make it look like this is more real and not just a picture we'll put a stool in front of it it'll be good it'll be fine 
Okay, so let's turn this one upside down because I have an idea for this little shelf. Can I move it any closer? Okay, that should be good enough. Because I have another picture that I wanted to use and that is this one. So, I don't know what height I would need it, but let's just fool around with this. So what I was thinking of doing is putting that inside of there to make it look like they have a whole bunch of paints. That's actually sand in a bottle, but I think it doubles as paint. So, so let's bring this down a little bit. I think the height had to come down too, right? Um, okay, we're getting close. We're getting real close. Actually, we're bang on. Okay, that is weird. Yeah, so it looks like they have paints. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, so this is what I've done. I've put these shelves up and I found another picture of like some paint brushes and stuff that I put kind of in the middle. Not sure what we're doing over here yet, but I think I think this can kind of look like an easel, a real life easel. Easel? Easel. I don't know. Anyway. Um, okay, let's go back to the furniture and I'm this we'll use this stool. Uh, what color should we use? I think maybe, hmm, I think this actually, the wood kind of matches the, yeah, I think this will be good. There we go. They can sit and paint. I think that's the best kind of stool that we have, unless they've added another stool, which I don't think they have. Um, get lots of leg. Well, I mean, we could use this one too. I mean, it doesn't really match the style of that easel, but does that look like a chair or does it look like a table? Okay, I, I'm gonna have to think about that. I mean, I think it can kind of look like a stool. I think it'll be okay. I wish I could find, I wish I could could have found an easel with the uh, a picture on it. That would have been really ideal, but I did not, so it'll have to do. Um, okay, so we got paintbrushes, we've got some paints up there, we got some paintings. Um, what can we put in here? I don't know that I have an idea for that yet, so let me look through my gallery and see what else I can find. This room is going to be pretty simple, I'm not going to put a ton of stuff in it. Maybe, maybe a table behind us, but um yeah this is taking a long time the saving business but i'm going to look through my photo gallery again and see what else i can find to spruce up this room and we got to paint it too don't let me forget all right guys i found a picture that i put up here i didn't know what else to put in here so i'll probably just decorate with some vases and stuff i started putting in a few little boxes and some books like i said we're gonna keep it simple. We've got a picture up there. Still gonna paint. These are all pictures that I'm going to not hang on the wall, but kind of knock off the wall and have them kind of um, just sort of precariously placed, like an artist would have just like little pictures here and there. I even have, like I picked up a bunch that just kind of look hand painted. So, um, and I even found one that looks like sort of the back of a blank canvas sort of thing. So we might stack like, let's see, how can we do this? Let's try and get this one to drop. I don't know if this is going to work. Well, let's just see what happens here. Uh, if we move this one, we might be able to get it where we want it. Hmm. Uh, I was hoping it would kind of drop on end, sort of. Yeah, I'll work on that. What I'm going to do, guys, is just kind of go through and try and just put some paintings here and there around the floor. And, um, and then I'll probably just throw in a few decorations and we'll call it pretty much done. I thought, um, oh, shoot, that one flipped. Um... I thought it'd be really cute. I found a picture of, oh, yeah, a door, door like a, 
Finding Nemo picture. Since we're going to be doing that in the bedroom, I thought it would be kind of cool to um, put that up in here and have it look like, well, it kind of looks like an unfinished painting to a degree, sort of. So I thought maybe we could put it up and, uh, and it could also be something that she's working on. I keep saying she, it doesn't have to be a she, but, uh, yeah, like something like that, you know, like just this one's kind of hidden now, but we'll fix it up, but it could be just kind of piles of paintings that she's working on. Anyway, guys, I'm going to finish doing a few more of these little things and uh, get this place decorated. Yeah, see, something like that would be cool. Um, put a few more decorations in, but really, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty simple. We'll throw some paint up, and uh, I think this is going to be our little artist room. So I'll be back when it's all done. All right, guys, I think I'm pretty much done. I didn't put any art on the walls at all because, I mean, there's so much art in here already. So I think we just have to paint. And I think that's it. I just put a few decorations up on the shelves. I put pictures, obviously, everywhere. I've got a bunch of them leaning against the walls in pretty much everywhere we could. I really like the way this one fell. It was perfect, kind of, obscure in the corner there and I even found a, found a little splatter paint thing that I had in my gallery so I thought that fit in here I just put a little rag up because obviously she's gonna have to um, clean I mean wipe paint off of her hands or something uh, I don't know what else to really do in here I really think it's cute I like it I'm really really happy with this idea um, but yeah, let's just decide on a paint. All I was thinking was maybe either sleepy blue or that icy blue. I thought that would kind of give it a bunch of color. I think that one wall, I'm going to leave it as, um, I think I'm going to leave it as white. I mean, we could maybe use the white paneling along with it. I don't think I want to use tile or anything. What kind of paneling do they have here? So you have the white. I like this like whitewash stuff because it, I don't know, reminds me of an old boat or something. It needs to be painted. Um, hmm. Well, I'm, I'm gonna look at these paints, I think. Is it icy blue or sky blue? I think sky blue might be better. Yeah, I think that might be all right. I just don't want it to be too much. Uh, that's one thing I wish I could do is paint. Let's just see what this looks like. But I think this wall will leave as white. And then this will give it the color that it maybe it's lacking right now. Whoa, what was that? That was trippy, okay. Um, hmm, we might even do that wall white. Maybe we'll do these two walls. Okay, yeah, let's do these ones. I don't know, we might actually just leave this one white or maybe we should do the white paneling because this one I kind of have to leave I want to leave it as is I think with the white hmm. okay let me get that white paneling let's try that all right guys I think I've decided we'll leave this color I ended up just using like the paneling around here just notice that I forgot some of the flooring so let's put that in really quick I'm not going to put a door on in here. Um, just cause It's already too small of a room. I think I've actually broken this room because I'm getting glitched through the wall a lot. So I think we'll leave... See what I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh, I put too much stuff in a small room, I think. I think this is good. I mean, I 
feel like we need something here, but I mean, there's so much going on. So I think, I think this looks like a cute little art room. I really do like it. All right, guys, before we walk away from this room, I have to add a couple more things. I just added a couple more pictures up here. I just felt like it was a little bit too bare. So I found a couple of framed uh, letter pictures that I thought was really cute in here. And then I just got a little, a little say in here that I thought went with the color of the room. And it just kind of fills up those walls. I found another splatter paint and I forgot lights. So we put in lights. So now we are done. Hopefully this is a room that like Emma, Emma, if you're watching, would be proud of because she's an artist and I wish I was too, but this looks really cute. I'm happy with the way it turned out. Hopefully you guys are too, but we have lots to do. So let's move on to, uh, is this in here? Yeah. The, the kids room. We also have to, I had to, oh, I have to repaint this because I busted out so many walls trying to get these paintings to land where I wanted them to. So I need to finish this hallway. Let me actually do that really quick and then we will go and get started on this bedroom. I think the bedroom's gonna be pretty simple. We gotta get this video done. I don't think we're gonna get to outside because that's gonna take some work, but we will finish the outside next time and we will sell this place. Um, I My idea for outside is to have a like just, I wanted to just have kind of like a little garden path through like overgrown trees that leads out into, we'll call it a lake, but we'll use one of the new swimming pools. That's what I thought. So it's going to take some time to, to do all that. And I don't think we're going to be able to finish it in this video. And that way, maybe this one will stay a little bit shorter for a change. Anyway, uh, as far as beds, I mean, I think we're going to be limited as far as what we can use in here. There's only a couple of, it's a very small room, so we're gonna have to use a twin size bed. Um, hmm. I mean, we could use that. What is this, is that the same one? Is that the one we just looked at? Oh my gosh, I'm like losing my mind. No, it's not. Um, I don't, hmm. What else do they have? Oh, this one might be good. Can we just change the color of no, we could have it just simple like that. That might be okay. And then if we go with maybe that color wood, would it kind of go with the floor? It's kind of an ugly color wood. What's this one look like? Uh, they're both not really, maybe this one blends a little bit more. Okay, yeah, I think maybe this is the bed we're gonna use. I'm going to pop it down. I think this will be, yeah, I think this will be all right. I'm not sure what color we're, I, I kind of put paint up that I had in the hallway just because I might block out some of these windows. I'm not sure yet, but I just kind of threw up some paint and I don't know what colors we're going to use. I'm assuming blue, I'm thinking, based on what I picked from the, from the store, but we'll see. I'm going to just touch up this hallway though. I think this is going to be the Moby Dick hallway because I have a whole bunch of Moby Dick pictures that I never used and I think we'll just use that in the hallway. Keep it simple and I'll be right back. Let me finish it up. All right guys, I ran out of Moby Dick, Dick pictures so I think this is going to have to do. So we just put up a few pictures here and there. These can be pictures that the artist of the family has just made too because as you can see, they were working on a Moby Dick one up there. So I think this will be good. It's very simple. I just put some lights up and a few pictures and we're good to go. So um, yeah, let's go and get started on this room. So I gotta think about this. Hmm, I'm not, I don't wanna block both the windows, but I feel like I wanna block one of them. It's gonna be a very tiny room, so there's only gonna be so much we can do. Uh, I had an idea, because I was thinking about Finding Nemo, and I was thinking about all the guys in the aquarium with him. And I found a bunch of pictures that, like of those characters, like, um, uh, I think this is Deb. Deb and Flo, right, yeah, Deb and Flo, I remember that. Um, so I was thinking, actually of doing something like, uh, I don't know. I don't know how this will end up looking, but 
let's just say if we could get them perfectly square, which might take some time, but I'll give you the idea. I thought we could just put a whole bunch of these pictures up on one wall and hmm. yeah, it could just be sort of a feature wall. We could put the bed under the window, kind of center it under there. Obviously I can't because the paint's in the way. And then just maybe have just a couple of Finding Nemo pictures up. Like I did find these ones. Let's see if I can find one really quick. It was sort of a mural type that kind of gave it a look, yeah, like this type of deal. I don't think it would be this one that I would use, but it, but that would mean we'd kind of have to leave the wall white on either side. So I don't know, I might block off this window. I hate that they're against the wall anyway. So it's gonna make the room a little bit smaller, but I think, I do think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let me just set up the room the way I want and then we'll we'll go from there. The, the back window behind the bed is gonna be that much more off center, which is gonna suck. So let me see if I can find a layout that I can work with here while we're totally stuck in lag land. All right, guys, I ended up moving the door over a little bit um, it's because I wanted to sort of, I wanted this to be the feature for all those little paintings. So I wanted to sort of put a, you know, a blocker down. I don't know if you could want to call it that, but just sort of a way to frame off that little area. So I have this weird little nook here, but we'll figure out something to do with it. And I'm just slapping up some paint. I'm not sure if it's going to stay this color yet, but we're going to throw in a door. So basically the door was kind of over here. So I found one more Moby Dick picture and put it up there. And I think it's a cute little hallway. Um, so now, oops, we have to paint up here too. Okay, so the hallway is officially done and we just need a door. So yeah, we'll want it to open this way. There we go. Okay, so we got our bedroom. Such a sad looking whale. Aww. Anyway, um, yeah, that'll work out good. I like the doors opening against a wall. And here, I'm not sure what we'll put. Maybe just a little, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is really tight, but it'll it'll work out just fine. And I did block this one window. I moved the bed over, which will be good because now we can put like a little dresser maybe here. And hmm, kind of wish this window was over. We could put the dresser here, but that's okay. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with this big wall. I mean, we could just maybe have hmm just use one of those art pieces that I was talking about. I was thinking, because they kind of almost look like windows into an aquarium. So let me just find one real quick. All right, so here's one of them. This has all the characters, well, not all the characters, but you know, has some characters in it. And then there's a blank one that doesn't have anybody in it. This to me looks a little bit blurry. So I don't know if that would look good on a big scale. But, you know, it kind of looks like you're looking into an aquarium. Let me just try. Yeah, see, it gets pretty blurry. What is this other one like? Um, except for I'd want it to be a little bit wider. It's not bad. I mean, we could put that up there. Leave this wall white. Those are really big fish now. Let's see. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so we have some room now to play. Um, that could be good for this. It's not too bad uh, resolution wise. So we could do that there and then here, I don't know, either I'll use this for the little pictures or I think it'll probably be on this wall because it's a big wall to fill up. We can always put a dresser on this wall too. So let me play around with these little pictures now because we're gonna have little Nemo's and I think they're all gonna be about the same. I'll probably have to auto fit them and make them all about the same size. 
and and then we'll splatter them all over this wall so it's going to take a bit i think that could be a good size yeah that could be a good size okay and then so these are all the guys from the aquarium i can't remember all their names but i'm sure you guys can tell me i remember gil i think the main guy the was named gil once i am done this house i am going to clear out my gallery and see if it helps with this whole lag thing but okay so we're gonna have a whole bunch of these little guys all over that guy's kind of small can't remember his name um who else do we have in that aquarium this guy was just out in the ocean this guy was in there wasn't he yeah so we'll have like these guys splattered all over and then maybe i'll paint blue in behind them to make it look like sort of like they're in an aquarium where's that big guy i liked him maybe i should make nemo smaller because these guys are all so much smaller is there like a medium nemo this one's pretty big too a little bit less big than that one though so maybe we'll use that one instead uh okay what else do we have here uh this guy I think his name was Gil. I liked him. Yeah, so we'll have a whole bunch of those guys all over this wall. And and then we'll, I don't know, we'll paint behind it or something. So let me, give me a sec, guys, to play around with this. And we'll be back. Okay, guys, I think I'm done playing with these pictures anyway. I'm just trying to get these oh so perfect. But it's a little bit difficult, I'm finding. I do one and then another one looks out of place. So anyway, this is what I've come up with. It's almost like a checkerboard. Oh, that's making me want to do a checkerboard on a wall now. But anyway, I think these are all the aquarium guys that were with Nemo. And I think this is actually kind of cute. It's a good way to, it almost has like a 3D effect. It's kind of cool. Um, but I think it's, uh, I think it's a good way to fill up this wall. It's a really fun little wall, I think. So... Um, so now we need to get some, we need to get, well, some other pictures, but we also need to get some furniture. Um, should we grab that other one while we're here? I guess my thing is open. I think we're going to use, like, this is kind of a cool one too, but it is like, it doesn't look like it's in a window or anything, which I just kind of liked about the other one. Oh, that's nice and clear though. Wow. Um, gosh, that's tempting. It's really tempting. Hmm. Well, maybe. Maybe we could do that on this wall. I mean, that is pretty cool looking. What am I getting stuck on? Okay, you know what? We're not going to be using these paints, I don't think. So I'm going to get those out of my way. Um, I'm kind of liking this. I kind of liked the window one. Maybe we could do the window one on the other wall. It's going to be very Nemo-like. I just want to get rid of the white on the bottom. It was bugging me. I'd rather have it on the top. That's kind of cool. That is kind of cool. I like it. Okay. Whoa, that's going to be a crazy looking room, but that's okay. We like crazy. Okay, so let's see. Um, there was still that other window one. We could do just the plain aquarium window because now that we have the shark that has come into play, we don't really need this one. The other one was just above it, wasn't it? Here it is. So if we go a lot smaller, we definitely have to go with a white wall here, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Yeah, because we couldn't make it big enough to f cover this whole wall. You can cover the sockets. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I always thought those got in the way. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let me look through here. I just want to see what else I have for pictures to work with. Because, I mean, we could just have a plain... Hmm aquarium kind of window thing let's just pop it up and just put some white paint behind it to see what it would kind of look like to see if it kind of does look like a window 
or if it's just a picture on the wall. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's giving me the effect that I wanted. So let's just move on to something else for a second while I think. Okay, so we need some, like a cute little side table. Um, we'll probably just use this, I'm thinking. We'll use white. Or does it come... I don't know if it comes in that same color as the bed. It's pretty close. We could do brown just to kind of... Yeah, maybe we'll do brown. Okay, so do they have the same color in this? They should. Do it in the cherry, I guess. So we could put the dresser there. And still not sure what we're going to do here. Yeah, I think this will work. I'm not sure what to color the back of the, I mean, that blue is actually really close to that picture. Maybe that's why I like the two together so much, because it really does match. I don't know if this is going to be too much, but I just want to try painting with this on the back. Because it, I mean, it would be kind of cool to make it the whole room seem like it's an aquarium. It would be a lot of blue, but... I think it would be kind of cool too. Yeah, I think I'm liking the whole room being blue. We'll do something a little bit different in here. We'll either keep the light gray or maybe we could even put just a tiny version of that window here. That I think might work. So let me see what I can find for another picture. I saw one more I might be able to use on here. This one. And let me get it... Uh, let me get it sized properly and we'll see how this looks. Okay, I think I have this picture framed. Yeah, I think I like that. Oh my gosh, it's very Nemo in here. Okay, perfect. I think that'll work. Um, hmm. Okay, so now what to do over here? We need a little bit. Let me get some decorations up and stuff, guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with this little spot but uh, let me have a look let me figure out what I'm gonna do in this little corner not sure what I could do there and it could just be a shelf with some toys maybe because this place is pretty busy as is so yeah let me have a look guys I'm gonna throw up a few little decorations and stuff and I'll be back all right, guys, I'm having one final look for anything that we might have missed. For some reason, I can't use this bunny because it reminds me of... Oh, but he's so cute. Oh, maybe we could if we made him nicely colored like that. Oh, so cute. He needs to be on the bed, though. Oh, I'm going to have to drop him on the bed. He really needs to be there. So let me do that really quick. And then guys, I think I'm done. I was kind of looking through the other stuff to see if there was anything else I could decorate with. I just put a garbage can down and um, I think we're going to just put the shelf. I don't even know if I made this big enough for the shelf. I did not. Darn it. Okay, let me just put this here for a second, build a few more walls. We'll drop this bunny on the bed. And then we will maybe look at rugs. I don't know if it needs any more, but yeah, I think that should be good. Okay, so where's that bunny? Give me the bunny. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're going to make them really cute. Something not Halloween-y at all. Okay, can I get you up there? I wonder if I jump on here. There we go. Okay. Uh, I think you needed to be quite far over to land sort of center. Uh, it's not quite. Ugh. Okay. Come on, little bunny. Okay, you gotta, don't fall on your face. You can't fall on your face. Oh, you sunk into the bed. <laughs> oh, well, that's good enough. I think it's, that's fine. It'll be, it'll be perfect. I didn't bother with curtains. I mean, I suppose we could put some up, but, I mean, it might break up the, the blue a little bit. We probably have to just use white, I'm thinking. We have the blind. The bed, oh, the bunny's not quite centered, but that's okay. You know what? Let's actually look at curtains really quick. 
Yeah, I think they'd have to be just white if we're going to do them at all. So let's have a look and see what this looks like. I wish you could change the color of the curtain rod. I'm really appreciating that we can put stuff on all the levels. Yeah, that kind of finishes it off. It's good. Um, of these shelves now. That's so awesome. So this is what I've done, guys. I've just put in a few uh, of the wooden like cherry matching shelves up here with a bunch of toys. I put his best friend Dory here and Dory? Dora. Dory? Oh my gosh, I'm second guessing myself. I can't remember. Dory. I think it's Dory, yes. And I ended up just using that picture there of the window. I think that was good enough. And then I put this one, I think that's where we left off is me sizing this one for this wall, which I think actually ends up being really cute. I used some of his other friends and just put them up on the wall here. And, and then I just put some toys out and stuff somewhere like kid height to hang his clothes. I put in, of course, like a, a, a gaming console there and some lamps. And we got our big old Bruce picture. Is it Bruce? I think it's Bruce. Or is that Jaws? I don't know. It's been so long since I've watched uh, Finding Nemo. So sorry if I'm getting it all wrong. But we're going to look at... <gasps> yeah. Let's do this. It reminds me of Bubbles. And we have a little bit of the cyan going on in here. So that'll be perfect. We'll grab many maybe. And put one here. And then maybe one as we come in. Oh yeah, that finishes it off perfectly guys I think this is gonna be good for this room we got our Nemo room it's so cute I love it so we got all of our murals up I really like the way this wall turned out something a little different yeah this is so cute I used every character twice guys I think that's gonna be it for this episode we are going to end it here we got lots done today we got our art room which i love i think this is going to be one of my favorite rooms i think it's just really really cute and of course we got our moby dick hallway oh remember we started with this bedroom i can't believe this house is done oh, it feels like it has taken forever not my favorite bathroom over here but that's okay and we got this cute little adorable grandchild's room. What grandchild wouldn't want to live or come and visit grandma and grandpa in this room? This is adorable. Love it. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed. I can't believe we're done this house. Next time, we will just finish up the yard, sell this puppy, and that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Ooh, so scary. Scary. Happy. Scary. Happy.